In this video, I will guide you how we can easily use copper. Copper is an amazing CRM tool that you can use. And the first thing that we are going to do together is that we are going to create an account. Now, if you already own the account, guys, completely skip this step. So I will add here Marcus Stonelius, name and last name, copy the email address and paste it here. You can also continue with Google. Try for him. And now confirmation your email. So we will get email that we have to confirm. Confirm my email. And now we will set a password. And that's what we are going to do. And set password. So let's just wait. Uh, sign into your account. Next. And enter password. And we will be right in. Now the first thing that I'm going to show you is a walkthrough, like what you can actually get in copper. And then I'm going to show you everything. So first thing first, we need to add our company name. Then phone number. Company size. And what is the business type? I'm in consulting. Now I'm going to click get started. So voila, here we are. Now. First thing first, interface, what we can see and what we can actually find in copper. When you would click on people here, we can uh, add simple new people. And then we're going to see the company. So I'm going to show you how we can first add a company. Then we'll be <laughs> Dunder Mifflin. <laughs> that made me laugh. <laughs> From <laughs> That was a good one. I never seen that before. That's really good. And the people. Uh, then we will look on the opportunities and projects. Also, I will show you how we can easily add the tasks. We will look on our email sequences, tracked emails, and that's pretty much it. So, like using Copper is really simple and not that hard to do. And as you can see, like after finishing this video, you will know exactly how to do it. So the first thing that we are going to look on is how we can simply add a company in copper so i'm going to click on the companies here and i will click add new of course you can import companies to add new company so first thing first i'm going to add a name it's going to be sun company let's say owner is me contact type is potential customer or current customer let's say current customer i can add a website here and also work phone Email domain, you can add it. So let's say I would add it. Gmail.com, you can of course add a LinkedIn. Yeah, I'm going to leave it like it is. And then you can add a street address, city, country here and description and visibility like who can see actually who can see that teams individual only me or record owner only i'm going to go with everyone and you can also add a tags here let's click save for now and voila as you can see here we got our own company now when i would close it you can also see find activity and related so in our uh, related we can simply add open full page on the right side, you can simply add opportunity here or you can add a people, but I'm going to show you how we can add all of these directly on the left tab. But I just want to let you know that you can always add it on the right side of the contact or company you're going to see if it's a people, task, files, calendar events or projects. So when I'm going to click on a people now, I'm going to click add new person. You can always filter it, etc. So add new person. So let this is going to be Marcus contact prefix suffix. If you have it added, add a company. So this would be the sun company that we created. Of course, you can always create a new company. You can you always going to see the create sun. So if you know the contact, uh, but you don't have the company, you can always uh, just not adding anything here or just choosing it or creating it. I'm going to choose the one that we created. I'm going to add a title here if I have one uh, contact type if it's a current customer or potential customer like the Sun company was the current customer so this is going to be current customer too 
I can add a work email here, work phone, so work email, let's say. <clears throat> I can add a work phone. I can change the owner. Owner is me. Work website. That's something that I can do too. And I can also add a website, LinkedIn and address as a street, city, country. Visibility if it's everyone, again, teams, individuals, only me or record on only. Add a description and add tags. Then simply click here, save. Now, voila, here we have the Marcus contact. And again, when I would click here on open a full page next to the name and you're clicking open a full page, on the right side, you would see tasks here, files, calendar events and projects. You can of course add a tasks here or opportunities, but we are going to add an opportunity on the left side. But again, it looks really similar comparing to companies. On the left side, you would have all the necessary information. In the middle, you would find interactions, last contacted and everything, phone activity. And on the right side, you would find the things that you can actually add on your contact or on your company. So when I'm going to click in on opportunities, I'm going to show you how you can easily add an opportunity in uh, copper. So <clears throat> first thing first, uh, you're going to have like all the, the pipeline here. You can always find my opportunities, opportunities I'm following, my open opportunities, all opportunities. I can create a custom filter if I want to. You can also add new and this is where we are going to in. You can always set up settings and you can customize the pipeline, but we will get to it. So I'm going to click add new here. Add a name. Let's say this could be Sun YouTube Oppor Opportunity Pipeline. This is going to be sales. I can have business development or sales in the moment when you're going to change the pipeline. The stage is changing. So if it's sales, you see that you get to see the qualified follow up presentation contracts and negotiation. And if I'm going for business development, you see the stage here. First meeting, partner meeting, negotiation, term sheet, and you can change all of these. So, okay, let's say that this is going to be sales. Related a contract, contact, Marcus contact that we created. And that's a company, Sun Company, because the primary contact, Marcus contact, is directly connected to the Sun Company. Then we're going to see the status here. And if it's a one abundant lowest, Again, you choose it and uh, that's another thing that you can do. Of course, let's say this is a status of open, owner is me, qualified, follow up source if this is going can be email so again stage i can choose follow up you can always change that source if it's an email called call advertising so it's going to be email and i can add simple value here and priority let's say this is going to be medium one win percentage like what is the win percentage of this stage and on the whole opportunity visibility everyone you can of course add a description and add a tax now i would click save here and right here, as you can see, we have our own opportunity. Now, when I would close it down, I can simply move it to, let's say, presentation. And I can click on it, relate it. And as you can see, we have the people uh, for the related Marcus contact. Let's go full screen. On the right side, we're going to see the people, the companies, and I can simply add the tasks for opportunities, companies and people too. And I'm going to show you how we can easily do that and files, calendar events, etc. Now, let's say I'm going to back now. Opportunities. I can go also to settings. And I can customize the pipeline. Look at this. This is for the sales. And I can uh, change the win probability of every single stage name. Then I got to see the follow up presentation contracts and negotiation. And I would have it right here. Of course, the one thing that I forgot to add and change 
is how much money is going to be. So that's something you can also change. Now, let's say I'm going to choose on this one. And I can edit it. So don't forget. Don't forget to change like I did. So when I'm going to click add new here. Yep, and you can choose like business development, etc. So definitely add a value. You can of course show pipeline or show with the list view on the top right. Uh, change the how it looks like. But of course you can always change the opportunities flow, like the pipeline stages. So this is pretty much it how we can do it. And let me show you the next step. And the next step is how you can simply add a project. And then we will look how you can add tasks in Copper. So projects. You would click here on the projects next to under opportunities. And you would click on add new on the top. Here you would add a name. Let's say this is a YouTube project. If you have template, you can choose it related to and we can add like what is it related to some opportunity company yes owner me status open visibility everyone i can add a description about it the tags and then i can add a due date let's say tomorrow and i can add save so this is my new project and you can always add a tasks for your project. You can click here on the open full page. And as you can see, we have like to do in progress done. This is, um, I can edit the layout, add a section or leave it like it is. I can simply click plus here and I can add a task name. So I would add mm, YouTube SEO. Saving task, voila. And here. I can add a subtasks for my project or my task for my main task in YouTube project. I can simply add a subtask. I can add the files and I can see the activity here. So that's what you can do. And you can of course mark it done on the top right. Then you can simply move it to in progress and to done. So this is pretty much it how we do it. And this is how we can work with it. Now the next step that you can do uh, is you're going to click on a tasks and here you would find all the tasks and always you're going to see plenty of tasks here. So what I can do is go to top and add new and to add a task, I can add a name. Let's say this is going to be lunch and you can always change the activity type, if it's going to be a phone call or meeting. So let's say this is going to be meeting. I can edit a relation. So let's say this is going to be relation to opportunity. Marcus contact, or I can go like Sun, Sun YouTube opportunity. I can change the due date. So let's say it is going to be Friday. I can change the owner, the priority, medium, description, visibility and tags. So I can change everything here. Then I would click save. So lunch meeting that I have with the Sun YouTube opportunity. And now if I would go on the top left next to the uh, next to the under companies opportunity, I could simply click on a Sun opportunity launch full page. And as you can see, I got to see the project and task directly for this opportunity. When I'm going to click on the companies, and I would click on a Sun company. I can see everything here. Look at this projects, tasks, people, because the Sun company got the opportunity, Sun, um, Sun YouTube opportunity. So the Sun company got also project and tasks directly on a company because it's connected. And also that's pretty much it how it works. So this is pretty much it, how we can use the projects, tasks, opportunities, and people. If you're going to have any questions, guys, about um, what you can do about it, or if you have any questions about Copper CRM, to let me know down below in the comments. So when you have tasks, let's click here on email sequencing. And 
you need to like agree here. And email sequence, you need to create a new connection then to use it. So let's say I'm going to have VIX forms here and you need to always connect it. And that's pretty much it how you can do it. So in the moment when you're going to create it and you're going to connect your sequence, you need to click on the campaigns here. You're going to find also contacts. Like let's say I have contacts right here. These are my contacts that I have in people. And I would simply click on campaign. I can create a new sequence here. So sequence name would be sequence, then contact tag, opportunity tag, or contact tag, select a segment sample. And then I can simply add an email and I would write them email. I would write them everything and I would set the test email. So this is how you can pretty much do it. It's a little bit more complex. So let me down below in the comments if you like to have email sequence tutorial and I'm really happy to do it. So this is pretty much it, what you can do and how we can work with it. Then you will like track emails that you are actually tracking, like let's say on Gmail and you can get the Chrome extension of Copper to use it. And the last thing that I'm going to show you, like last two things, is reports, legacy reports, Legacy reports um, are just the reports that you can do to see like how your pipeline are doing, also uh, the opportunities and everything. So qualified, follow up, contract sent, and you can see all the value right here. And you would find all the important analytics in a legacy reports. So that's pretty much it, how we can do it and how we can use it. Now, if you can have any questions, guys, ask me down in the comments. Of course, under legacy reports, you would have applications that you can use to and find too. So that's pretty much it, how we can do it and how we can use it. So if you can have any questions, guys, ask me down in the comments. I'm really happy to help you. This was a Copper CRM tutorial, how to use Copper, Copper Beginner's Guide, Copper for Copper tutorial and yep. Yeah. So thank you very much guys for watching and have a great day and goodbye. See ya.